Who would win in a 1v1 among Madara and Jigen? Can Madara beat Jigen? Yes, and let me explain before some of you go on and say, no, Jigen is stronger because Jigen is stronger than Kaguya and Madara was killed by her. No, that's not how this works. First, let me put some good scaling in your head and not some YouTube power level you may watch. So we all know that Madara was killed by Black Zetsu. Jigen, the imperfect vessel for Ishiki, is a lot weaker than Ishiki. Ishiki was killed by Kaguya by her ultimate move, the expansive truth-seeking orb. He was so weak that he couldn't even use a karma seal, so he had to shrink himself down and control Jigen through the brain. This was because of a sneak attack from Kaguya. I think that is a 1v1 fight Ishiki would win. Now saying this, Madara was caught by surprise by Black Zetsu. If Black Zetsu was never there, then Kaguya would never come because Black Zetsu's whole existence was to revive Kaguya from a Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Therefore, I don't necessarily think Madara would succeed in his goal, but Naruto and Sasuke would still have a hella tough time beating him. Now that I have put you in some scaling, you can understand where I'm coming from. First, I'm going to go over Jigen's abilities and Keki Genkai so you know how Madara can counter it. Jigen's main weapon or attack method is his chakra receivers, chakra rods or black receivers. He can produce this rod that allows hit to drain chakra or just suppress chakra. I don't know how he has these rods considering only Rinnegan users can manifest them, but I don't try to understand Baruto plot holes. Now I'll go over his dojutsu, which is a pretty short list. His keke genkai, a weird dojutsu that consists of a mix between Sukunahikona and Daikokuten. To put it in context, one of these abilities allows the user to shrink him or herself and other objects, which is the Sukunahikona part of the dojutsu. The Daikokuten part is to allow the user to manifest objects from their pocket dimension. He also has his absorbing ninjutsu karma, which will be troubling to Madara. Moving on, just to be clear, I'm not going to even try and say that Madara's physical strength is even close to Jigen. As seen, Jigen's strength is a whole new level, even though Baruto scalings are shit, but I will say that Madara won't need physical strength to smack Jigen. Now, before I continue, I want to say that Jigen did a ton of research on Naruto and Sasuke, but considering this is a chance battle, he won't know the abilities of Madara. Okay, I am using Jubi Madara because any other Madara would get slapped, not going to argue that. Now that I have told you Jigen's abilities, I'm going to cover Madara's and tell you how they kind of trump card Jigen's abilities. First, I'm going to say this real quick, Madara is much faster than light, considering he could dodge flying Thunder God technique, Kamui, and Eight Gates guy. Now to even began to say what an impressive feat this is, let me explain. Flying Thunder God is teleportation and Madara still dodged it. It's also been said eight gates is too fast, it bends space. Now Madara was hit by him because he wanted to. Madara dodged a couple of attacks because if he didn't, he would probably be too weak to fight the rest of the 1000 plus S tier opponents. Madara possesses extreme durability considering he healed in an instant after eight gates guy attacked him and then gained even more durability when he opened the Rhin Sharingan. Therefore, he can heal pretty quickly when Jigen hits him, which he will, but will still be difficult for Jigen. He has Limbo, which guards him all around, so Jigen can't sneak attack him. One of his Limbos are just as strong as a user, the rest are 50% strength, so Jigen will be fighting two and a half versions of Madara. But there is a catch. The technique is an advanced clone that lives in an alternate dimension called Limbo. In the case of Madara, his clones is or impossible to detect or damage, but can still attack things in the real world. When it comes to fighting Sasuke and Naruto, it could cause physical damage. Limbos can't be destroyed, only sealed. They can't be absorbed either. Madara can also switch places with his Limbo. Jigen can go small, but as seen in manga anime, but Sasuke could still sense Jigen with his Sharingan, so Madara could do the same, as well as the Limbos. Madara is a genius, no, no, like for real. He spent the last century finding every possible outcome for his master plan with Obito and everything worked out down to the second, except for damn Black Zetsu. Anyway, Madara isn't dumb enough to just rush into battle. He will make sure to analyze Jigen to the smallest detail. Just like Sasuke, once he finds out about Jigen's abilities, he can find a way to counter him. Truth-seeking orbs. Well, Jigen can't do shit against this attack. If Jigen even touches this, Madara wins. Madara can also use it for defense as seen by Obito using a black shield in the barrier. He can also change the orbs into Shakujo, which he can use as a high-speed projectile or as a good defense mechanism. So even if Jigen is doing somersaults in the air to avoid the balls, once he uses Shakujo, Madara wins easily. He has access to the God Tree, which he can use as a healing mechanism and a quick power boost. This can't be absorbed because although it's ninjutsu, as seen before, it takes a very long time to absorb large objects. So Jigen ain't stupid enough to take that long. Madara can also use God, nativity of a world of trees, 
which is a technique where the tree wraps up any living thing into a trance. The ability is used as a sealing technique before infinite Tsukuyomi. Now I'm going to talk a little about his Bukijutsu. Madara has a vast variety of weapons he can use. He has Dominic statue chains that were used to completely immobilize the tailed beasts. He also has his Gubai, which will probably be very useful to redirect attacks, although in Jubi's state he has his TSO staff. Now although his nature transformations won't do much because of the absorption thing, he still has yin and yang release. But one nature transformation that will be useful is his wood style, especially because in Jubi state he can control the god tree. He can use attacks like a wood dragon or flowing tree technique, Suzanu. Well shit, this really won't do much, but it's okay to add. Personally, I hate the way they portray the Suzanu power because Sasuke's made a tiny crack while Madara split valleys and mountains. Fuinjutsu. This is one of my favorite of his abilities. Although you only see him use it once in the entire series, it's still pretty dope. Fuinjutsu is just a sealing technique. This technique was used by Ishiki in Boruto chapter 23. Ishiki was able to seal Naruto for a bit of time. If this was seal was strong enough to seal Naruto, then it's strong enough to seal Yigen. I have to add this little part from Jubidara Arsenal Sage of Six Paths art. Now this is another thing that is going to shit on Yigen because of one of two things. Senjutsu cannot be absorbed by a Karma Seal because Karma Seals can only absorb techniques made of chakra. Sage art, this is one of Madara's strongest abilities. Here are his Senjutsu main attacks. Sage art, Storm Release Light Fang. Not only is it light speed, but it's also strong enough to cut Naruto's truth-seeking orb. Which just proves how strong it is. Not even Sasuke could break his truth-seeking orb in their final fight in the Valley of the End. Next on Madara's Senjutsu is Sage Art. Yin Release Lightning Dispatch. Now here's the thing about this Senjutsu. It's a mix between Senjutsu and Ninjutsu, so I don't know if Jigen can like half absorb it or something. What this ability does is like purple lightning with aimbot. And last but not least we have... Infinite Tsukuyomi. I mean, at this point, it's GG. Madara has Rinna Sharingan, so he can activate it whenever he wants. Jigain can't do anything at this point, because Jigain has no Rinnegan. So he will be trapped in Infinite Tsukuyomi having happy dreams. Now, Madara could activate this right away and win, but I wanted to add his other abilities just to show how hard he slaps. Now, just quick clarification for some people is still gasping and trying to figure out ways how Jigain can beat him. I know that Jigain has tamed the Ten Tails to a certain extent. So for those people out there saying, no, Jigain can tame the Ten Tails so that won't work and Madara loses. In this form, Madara has complete control of the Ten Tails so that won't work, sorry. That's why Madara slaps. Those who disagree, comment why you think Jigain would win. And those who agree, subscribe for similar content. Thanks for watching, VerseTube signing off. Also watch these videos right here.